I'm Wendy here from Draw So Cute. In this video, I'm going to show you how to draw King Bob from Minions. So let's get started. With Bob, we're going to first start by drawing a circle for the inside of his goggle. So right here, we're going to draw a big circle all the way like that. And right here, we're going to draw another circle, same size, right here. like that. And um, now we can draw the outside of his goggle. So following the same circle, just a little bit higher, right here in the center, find the center, on both right there and put a point, and we're just going to connect it with another circle like that. So go all the way like that. Keep going all the way around like that. And right here, same plane, Go all the way around and keep going right here, like that. Whew, circles are hard, aren't they? <laughs> and so then inside right here, we're going to draw his eyes. So another circle on the inside that's closer to the inside of the goggle. So right here, draw a circle for his uh, draw so cute eyes and another one like that. See, my circles are nowhere near perfect, but it's okay, right? <laughs> and so right here, let's draw two small circles for highlights and a curved line at the bottom for my Draw So Cute Eyes and shade in the top. Like that. And the lines at the bottom. Like that. And so same thing on the other side. Two small circles, curved line at the bottom, and shade in the top. I didn't know how cute this guy was until I saw the movie, and then I had to draw him, and also with all the requests, I had no choice. <laughs> and right here, lines at the bottom. And so now that we have his goggles in, right here, we're going to draw the tab right here for his goggles. So come out and Draw a curve like that. Same thing on the other side. Go all the way across. Curve. Down. And connect it. Like that. And now we're going to draw his um, this head part right here. So right here we're going to draw a curve that goes up like that. So same thing on the other side. Same place. Right here we draw a curve. Comes down to where his goggles are. And so, before I show you how to draw the crown, I wanted to draw the rest of his body first. So, oh, let's not forget to give him his smile. <laughs> so right here, we're gonna draw a cute little smile for Bob. And right here, just cap it off like that. Isn't he cute? <laughs> okay, now right here, let's continue this line down. So draw a straight line right here. Continue this line down like that. And now we're going to draw his, um, the, uh, the robe that the king wears. So right here, we're going to draw a curve that comes out like that. Same thing with the other side. Draw a curve that comes out. And so in here, we're going to draw a curve that comes down. So draw a curve that comes down like that. Also right here, draw a curve that comes down right here and that connects to a circle. So right here, just draw a circle like that. So if you thought it would be easier, you can also just start by drawing a circle right here. So let's do that with the other side. So right here, let's just draw a circle like that. And then you can connect it like that. Same thing like the other side, connect it in like that. And then right here, we can start to, oh, Let's draw a curve right here. Let's connect it first, make it easier. So right here, let's draw a soft curve like that. That's where his overalls are going to start. And now we can go back in here and start to draw the, his robe. So out here, let's draw a curve, slight curve line that comes out. And right here where the circle is, draw another curve line that comes out and connects to it right there. And right here, Draw a curve line that comes out. So thinner 
then thicker, wider I mean. And come out all the way and right here just connect it with a curve like that. So same thing with the other side. So come down with a curve. So same as the other side. Come here, curve, connect it. Same thing, curve and make it wider out here and connect it back in like that. So that's his robe and you can always go back in here with some um, the polka dot details that are in his robe if you want it. So very random here and there. And so just some details for his robe. And let's draw some more here too because there's more polka dots right here. Like that. And some more on the other side. Like that. La la la. Polka dots. <laughs> like that. Okay. So now let's go back in and finish it off. So right here we're just going to connect it with a curve for his body. So right here, let's draw a curve, big wide curve, and go back in like that. And now we can draw his legs. So once again, find the center right here, and that's where his the legs are gonna start off. So right here, follow this curve, come out like that. Same thing, come out like that. The center area, and draw two angle lines like that, and connect it, and connect our short little legs. And then we're gonna come out like that with a curve, come out, and bring it back in for his legs, for his feet, I mean, and then you can shade it in for his um, shoes. So same thing right here, come out, go out right here and connect it like that. And shade it in, like that. And now let's not forget his hands because you can kind of still see his hands from under here. So right here, we're just gonna give a small indication, very simple, so come down here, draw curve, a longer curve like that, and then another one like that. And let's just shade it in so you know it's his hands, like that. So same thing on the other side, come down with a curve, longer one, and another one like that. And shade it in, like that. And so now let's go back in and give him his little details on his overalls. So right here, we can't forget his little pocket right here. And um, let's draw a curve, comes down, curve that comes down and connect it. And uh, I can't resist, I have to draw a heart right here. I'm sorry. <laughs> if you don't like it, you don't have to do it, but I had to which is screaming for a heart right there. <laughs> and right here, let's just draw some details, some lines that come out like that, just where the material would wrinkle a little bit. And let's just give it some, you can draw some little dashed lines right here for his the stitching on his overalls, like that. And so now we can crown our King Bob. So up here, let's finish off his crown. We're gonna draw a curve right here at the, for his crown, like that. And right here, we're gonna draw a curve, another curve for the top part, for the soft furry part, and then connect it with another curve all the way across. Straight line, straight line, another curve to connect it, like that. And now, right here, find the center, right here. Up here, right here, we're gonna draw a soft, um, curve like that and then bring it down with another soft curve straight down and curve it out so same thing on the other side straight down and curve it out so that's the center part of his um, the crown and then flare it out like that flare it out like that so then now from here you know where this part needs to go to get to the center so come out so this shape is coming out goes back in, comes back in like that. So this line right here that you drew, go just follow the line that you drew on the inside, outside and go back in like that. 
and right here, just draw it so the line. And so let's do that same thing with the other side. So right here, draw a curve that comes out, in, and bring it back in like that. So once again, just follow the same line, like that, all the way down, like that, and connect it right here. You can draw another curve like that. So on the inside of his crown, he has another piece right here, the purple part, and another line like that for the inside, like that. And so now we can start to draw his jewels. So on the top right here is this little um, embellishment that um, we're gonna start by drawing basically a jewel up here. So a jewel is kind of straight, two angle lines like that. Connect it with two angles like a point. And then on both sides, right here, draw two straight lines down. And now we're gonna flare it out like that. And one more, flare it out like that. So same thing on the other side, just try to match it like that. And one more like that. <laughs> and let's go back in here for some more jewels. So right here, maybe a square one, a circle, and then a diamond like that. And some more jewels right here because it is the crown. It needs to be very sparkly. And so let's not forget some more jewels up here. So maybe one, two, another one, and one more like that. And oh, let's not forget some more of this um, polka dot detail on the crown part right here, the furry part. So just very random like that for the top part of his uh, crown. So there is my Bob. But Bob is not happy without who? <laughs> without his little bear, of course. So right here, we're gonna draw his little teddy bear for him for, um, I think he calls him Tim, but I'm gonna switch to a thinner Sharpie because um, his uh, teddy bear is very small. So I wanted to show you the little details on it. So right here, we're just gonna draw Big, whoop. let me make sure this works, sorry. Big, wide circle like this, like that. Let's give him some ears, very simple. And two eyes, so two circles right here, like that. A line inside, like that, where the button eyes are. And then right here, we're gonna give him a little nose. You can shade it in if you want it. And his little tongue that sticks out. <laughs> and then his little body, like that. And his arms. Very, very simple. Perfect draw so cute bear, isn't it? So, and one more like that. There, now Bob is very happy. King Bob, I mean. <laughs> Hope you liked it. Thanks so much for watching and please subscribe to get updates on more Draw So Cute videos. See you later.